Striking gold miners in South Africa say they are losing patience. South Africa's gold industry is one of the biggest in the world. These miners say the lowest paid worker takes home about $500 a month. And they say that's nowhere near enough. We need to, to buy something like a milk, a healthy food, so that we can, we can live healthy. But in the little of money, we can afford this. Working on 12 hours underground money is too bad. This 5.5% that they are giving us is like the insult to us because we are working very hard underground. This is the annual wage bargaining season, but mine owners say they can't afford to increase salaries because it could lead to job losses. But these miners are singing that they think their mine bosses are stingy. They say they work very hard underground for long hours and they deserve a pay increase. Economists estimate that the gold miner strike could cost South Africa more than $30 million a day in lost output. But tough economic times and labor unrest has made it difficult for mines to make a profit. Production costs have also increased as miners have to dig deeper to extract the gold. The social ramification of the strike is uh, the fact that it will definitely in the end result in some uh, job losses because one of the first casualties when a strike happens usually is the workers. One study that was conducted by one uh, researcher indicated that uh, on average these mine workers they have plus or minus eight dependents. So they definitely this will have a dire impact on the family. The National Union of Mine Workers says around 80,000 of its members have stopped working. And strikes in vehicle manufacturing and the construction industry are already hitting South Africa's vulnerable economy. Recent growth has been slow and there have been a number of strikes. A lengthy work stoppage by gold miners risks doing serious damage. Harumitasa, Al Jazeera, Western Aria.